Hello lads, hope you're well. Um, following on from last week, I'm out and about in a bit of nature. Uh, just sat in <clears throat> local park where I normally go for a walk in Canterbury. So I'm back down here now. Obviously last week I was in uh, Bromley where I'm from. Like I mentioned, sort of staying with the parents and stuff like that. But it's not a particularly nice day today. It hasn't actually rained yet, but it's looking like it's probably heading that way. Uh, so thought I'd get out and go for a walk before the rain comes and before the social tonight uh, which is yeah looking forward to it obviously haven't really done a social for a couple of weeks uh, like I mentioned last week had a lot going on the week before that was uh, half term or academic development week so I didn't really get a chance to, to see the guys too much then either and um, actually drove down to the game earlier but there was no parking so I had to drive home again which is a bit annoying didn't get to watch the boys play but uh, obviously it means there was a lot of support there, which is good anyway. Yeah, uh, I re-watched last week's video and um, walking around holding the camera doesn't seem to go too, down too well in terms of being able to hear and understand everything that I'm saying. So I thought I'd, uh, rather than just walk around the whole video, actually sit down and chat to you like this a little bit more. It does mean that my camera's going to be a bit shaky, probably because my arm gets tired but it uh, also allows me to get a little bit more in terms of views and stuff and stuff like that. Um, nothing major really going on this week. Uh, handed in first assignment, that would have been the day that uh, my last Monday's video came out, uh, which is a bit of a relief. It wasn't easy, but um, definitely today, gonna before I go out for the social and once back for the walk, gonna focus on the next one, which is due in early December. Uh, and then there's literally there's one due on the 6th and then one on the 13th so I've got to really get cracking on on both of them to be honest because uh, neither of them are particularly easy but that's uh, that's uni life. Yeah, thought I'd film a, film a little intro sat here I'll take you around a nice little park that I'm in now and uh, catch up with you in the next clip. As you can probably tell, uh, it is not later that day. That's why I'm in a completely different outfit. Um, it's actually two days later. Um, I walked around for a little bit and couldn't find anywhere else to sit, so I didn't really get a chance to film for the rest of that day. And then the weather completely went, so <clears throat> I went home. Then went out Wednesday night, and let's just say, didn't feel great most of yesterday so wasn't in any state to be on camera so decided to go for a walk Thursday morning and do a bit uh, sorry it's Friday Friday morning and do a bit more filming so yeah that's why uh, that's why we're out here now um, but I also didn't talk about the, the point of the video um, in, in the intro uh, but I kind of feel like there's not there's not loads I need to say I just found so I've mentioned it on here before. I've had a lot going on the last last month or two or so since pretty much just before I moved to to uni. Life's been quite stressful, um, and yeah, friends are pretty much what's what's got me through it. Spending time with them and not even necessarily telling them how I've been feeling, which I probably should do, but just being around them and stuff like that and doing nice things with them is, is something that's for me friends has always been have always been really really important uh, probably one of the most important aspects of my life that's just how I that's just how I am um, always, always has been um, but I just uh, yeah I was having a bad when would it have been I honestly just lose track of time now. Yeah, it was it was Tuesday. Um I was having, having a bad day and uh, it was the day I was driving back from home to Canterbury and I'd finally uh, had the chance to text a friend of mine who'd had a baby, his second baby recently, and I went over and saw him and by the end of the evening I, I forgot that I'd even been down at all that day. I was a completely changed person. Um, obviously it's always nice seeing a, a little baby giggling and looking all cute, literally sort of three or four weeks old, he, he's so young. Um, and I hadn't properly met his first child either, which is pretty embarrassing considering she's two. Uh, but 
yeah, it's someone, he's a very close friend of mine, but I don't always get to spend loads of time with him. Obviously, because he's married with two children, so he has a lot on his plate. Um, and until recently, he'd lived down in Kent, which is ironic, because I've now just moved down to Kent, and he's moved back to where we're all from. Um, but yeah, I didn't even spend a lot. I was probably only there for a couple of hours, but it was just, yeah, it was just really nice, and it really sort of brightened my, brightened my day and sort of made me forget that, not maybe forget, but I guess it makes you think, makes you realise there is there's there's nice things in the world. There's things to look forward to, and we'd sort of talked about making plans for um, <clears throat> for coming up to Christmas and stuff like that. And yeah, I guess stuff like that, having plans going forward and things, does make you happier and <laughs> make you uh, make you have things to look forward to. But yeah, that was a. Uh, that was that was sort of the the thing that made me sort of pick to the topic of today's video. Um, gonna keep walking now. Hope to find somewhere else to sit, and I'll uh, catch up with you in the next clip. So plans changed again, as you can probably tell. I'm not out on the walk. Uh, probably about 45 seconds after I finished um, filming. That last clip, the heavens absolutely opened and I got soaked. Uh, hair's mostly dried now, but still, still not perfect. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was trying not to like make it a, a sad sort of tone for the video because that's that's not that's not what I'm going for at all. Um, it, it, I just I was just trying to be sort of honest and open. Um, and I've sort of, I've mentioned it a few times in the last few weeks. Uh, I sort of brought it up the other day that I really do try not to script these because that's not really the the, the point. Um, my Thursday ones, obviously, where they're more informational based, uh, <clears throat> I sort of write out some sort of bullet points beforehand. But the point of this is, it it's just me talking about how I'm feeling and my opinions basically um, obviously I, I have some sort of topic that I aim to, to think about uh, which is and I, I don't really edit it as you like as you can probably tell like th there's a lot of pauses and I'm in an hour in because I'm literally sort of the words are leaving my mouth less than a second after they've come into my brain because I, I it's not it's not pre-scripted or, or anything like that um, and I, I am gonna start to um, start to not script but m maybe put down again just some bullet points but purely because there have been a few times where I've sort of put a video together and I've, I've realized that I actually probably didn't get across some of the points that I was that I was trying to get across um, for just because I was sort of flying off the cuff and I didn't I didn't remember the, the specific thing that I was that I wanted to say for that for that particular subject or whatever, but yeah, I think, like I said, I've talked about it so many times on my channel, um, what my friends mean to me and, and everything like that, um, but I just especially feel this time of year, Christmas and, and winter and stuff like that, when the days do get darker and and like physically darker, not like mood darker, uh, like the sun is in the sky for less hours darker um i i think this this is the the really important time to to reach out to people um because we all have the the great uh, november and december and christmas and stuff like that but then january can be an extremely lonely period um i last last january when the UK went into lockdown on like the 4th and basically didn't come out of lockdown until April that that those that January and February was horrible like bad um, to be honest I'm that, that that's probably why I didn't really start my channel until the May of last year um, by the way I have just passed my six months um, of, of having the channel so uh, I'll, I'll, that's what next one. I have to admit, I didn't actually realise. I thought I thought I started it later in May, but I literally started it like first. Um, so that next week's video, I'll do a little 
summing up the last six months. Uh, but um, because I probably could have started it earlier in the year, and in ways maybe I should have, but it there wouldn't have been anything to film because nothing was happening. Everything we like UK was in complete like New Zealand, Australia standard lockdowns. Everything was completely shut for about two months. Um, and also, I, 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 I can't see what sort of value I, anyone could have really got from my channel in the terms of I wasn't, and I'm still not, like sort of an established YouTuber. People don't sort of tune in just, just, to, just to watch me and because nothing was going on that I don't really know what I could have added to the world to make to make things any better. It wasn't until, like I say, sort of um, the end of April when stuff sort of really started to kind of get, I think, I think it was the 22nd of April was the day that we were first allowed back in shops um, and stuff like that, um, that I was like, right, I think there's enough going on in the world to sort of start this. But anyway, I've gone off on a complete tangent out of nowhere. Um, yeah. January and February and the start of a year can be a time where it's, it's really difficult and, and really lonely. Um, I always do dry January personally. Um, I know a lot of people sort of do their New Year's resolutions or whatever and say they're gonna get into the gym and I think the average person lasts two weeks or something like that. Um, I, I mainly do it not because of a New Year's resolution. I just normally absolutely cane my social life throughout December and November. I'm the biggest Christmas person ever. You can probably see that I've already got my Christmas bed sheets on. Yes, I have Christmas bed sheets. No shame whatsoever. Um, this is my uni house, so obviously I can't really decorate or anything, but my dad's birthday is the 6th of December. Um, and as soon as that's over, the Christmas decorations fly up. I personally, start celebrating Christmas from the 1st of November. I think as soon as Halloween's over, it's Christmas, in my opinion. Uh, and the, uh, the, the duvets, the duvets out. Um, yeah, so normally by the time it gets to the 1st of January, I'm so full of chocolate and alcohol that I'm like, right, detox for, I, I, I actually normally do longer than dry January, because I go skiing um, in, normally it's about Valentine's Day, whenever half term is so I normally do sort of dry six weeks I normally don't drink till I go skiing um, and try to eat reasonably healthy but to be honest I, I actually obviously I eat loads of crap because I eat loads of chocolate and sweets and stuff like that but I normally eat that on top of my healthy diet so it's not always the end of the world I don't really stop eating healthy in December I just eat crap as well but, um, but anyway, yeah, going completely off topic of the entire vlog. Um, yeah, friends are just like, I, like I say, I, I think I credit this a lot to my parents because they've got such good friendship circles. But honestly, I, I, I don't see the point in, in life if, without friends. And there are some people who who are just complete lone wolves and everything like that and that's fine if that's what makes them happy I, I, I consider myself extremely independent like um, I, like living like my setup now is my absolute dream just being alone at uni with my own place completely self-sufficient that is my dream but that's for me that's not my entire life is just completely sort of um, in solitude, like I, I, I really, really miss my friends when I don't spend time with them. I really, and even when I just don't talk to them, like if, if the group chat's not going off or anything like that, I just I just, I yeah, I just miss my friends. And it's so, and the Thursday video I just put out was about this. It takes 60 seconds to text a friend, say hello, mate, long time no speak. How are you? What's going on? Um. I've got a friend who, who moved to, to Canada. I've been friends with him for 25 years. And it took me, he'd been in Canada for like two months before I texted him and said, how are things? And there's just no excuse for it. Like, that, that's, if, if, if it was the other way around, I'd, I'd be like, wow, it's 
to be honest. Like if I if I made a decision like that to move halfway across the world, and one of my closest friends hadn't even bothered to reach out and be like, "How are things going?" I probably would be a bit upset. So it's uh, it's just it's just putting the effort in, and making making the time basically. Um, I want to go out and do some some more vlogging. Looking at the weather, it's not going to be the day. So I'm not going to end the video here. There will be more clips after this. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you in the next bit. Morning lads, uh, it's actually Monday, so it's the day this video is going to come out. Um, ended up having quite a busy weekend just doing stuff uh, on on my assignments, so didn't really get a chance to film. Uh, this is the first stuff I'm filming on the new phone, so I'm not sure if you can tell a difference in the quality, because from where I'm sitting it looks probably better than the camera, so really glad I went and spent 400 quid on that. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, the camera's very, very useful. Uh, went and did the pub quiz for the first time last night, the Student Union quiz. Uh, rugby were hosting it, so we went along. Um, it was Sunday, so I was like, obviously not going to drink. Obviously, in the end, did drink. Um, so, I actually don't feel too bad. I didn't feel great when I first woke up. This is helping. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, I sort of spoken at you for sort of nine, ten minutes in that last clip. I didn't realise, but uh, it's healthy, it's good. Uh, it's what I've made this channel for, is to show you guys that talking and stuff is important. But yeah, I said I'd film a little uh, little outro, so here it is. But um, yeah, hope you're all feeling all right. Uh, if you haven't, text your friend. Text two, text three. Uh, it's what it's what I'm trying to do, and uh, yeah, uh, going out to the quiz last night. Although I was regretting it for about 20, 30 minutes this morning when I first woke up, uh, certainly cheered me up and put me in a better mood, spending time with people. So yeah, um, I'll leave it there because I've covered everything I wanted to say. But um, thank you for sticking all the way to the end. As always, uh, if you did get any, find any of it useful, or if you enjoy listening to me talk do consider subscribing and comment as always anything below in terms of tips or tricks or anything like that that you guys find useful and i'll see you in the next one until then take care lads